Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. In today's video, I'll show you how to utilize the router function within a workflow. The router acts as an if-then function that splits the workflow into different branches, creating a unique flow for each scenario. Let's get started. First, understanding the router. The router is a crucial tool that lets you tailor your workflows based on your specific conditions. It's worth noting that you can only use one router per workflow. I will demonstrate a sample workflow over here where I have started creating a workflow whereby first I'm exporting some profiles, searching by a certain term, then I want to scrape the profiles and the third step is to check if I'm connected to any of those profiles. Now I have already set up those three steps. As the next step, I want to add the router. I can find that under operation. I select router and here I have two options. So one is yes and one is no. As I said, it works as an if then function. So I can set up the router to determine if these profiles are connected to me or not. For example, I can choose if they are connected to me. I want to send them an auto message. So this will be my yes branch for that workflow. Here I could also set up what message I want to send. And then the bottom one is going to be my no branch. So under my no branch, for example, if my if that profile is not connected to me, I would select um, auto connect, for example. So that will send them a request to connect with me. Configuring the router is very simple. You only have two options here. So if, for example, I want to select yes, I have one branch. And if I want to select no, I have another branch. So depending on the outcome of that action, which is connected or not, I can have two different outcomes within the same workflow that each branch continues with a different automation. What are the benefits of using a router? So a router in your workflow is a straightforward way to customize operations and to make powerful workflows. By branching the workflow based on specific conditions, you ensure that each contact receives the most appropriate follow-up action. This is especially valuable if you have a workflow with multiple steps. And that's it. Implementing a router in text of workflows can make your automations more dynamic and efficient. Try it out and see how it transforms your workflows. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.